fun. I think we are live. So, uh, before we um, gonna jump right at it, I want to know if you guys can hear me good. Let me get a little bit closer here. So, um, I'm gonna look on the side, see the comment. And uh, I've been doing the walkthrough, I'm going to say about three or four years now, or maybe even longer than that. Yeah, I said some here, so I'm going to say almost five years, I think. And uh, tonight, I am calling that uh, my walkthrough on steroids. Because I always ask uh, what you like about my walkthrough and so on, and I've been adding more and more of... Uh, hands on so tonight i got quite a bit to share with you hands on so um it's going to be longer it's going to be i say over an hour absolutely but i think it's going to work uh, work all of your time absolutely so if you have to leave this is going to be recorded but note that to be able to win i'm going to have two drawing and it is a bone a folder the voila um that's going to be uh, two of them let me make sure i get this going here and uh you have to be present to win though and how are you entered to win it's leaving a comment when it's live you have to be um uh, ex uh log in with your google account that's not my thing it's a youtube thing Okay, uh, I want to make sure me and Ollie are together here. Here we go. Okay, so are you guys ready to roll? I think we are. So we're going to uh, go right at it. But first, it's too big special that I need to tell you before we get started. So as we go, I bet you're going to write down some of your wish list. I did, here it is, I did a wish list for you all. Uh, if you didn't print it out, you can go on my blog and print it out. Right now, I don't want you guys to leave, but on the printout, I'm going to share how it is. It's a very nice reference. In the back, I got all the bundles. Well, <clears throat> the reason why I bring that up right away, it's because the bundle in the back, you can get over $200 of stamping up product, $125 of your choice of anything exclusive of the stamping reward to a stamp set. You choose anything to $125. Then you choose a bundle. The bundle, it has to be a bundle with a stamp set. So a stamp and a punch or a stamp and a die, and I'm going to share them all. The most expensive one, I think it's $60.25, and I'm using it tonight, and I didn't even think about that. We're going to do a, a lovely card you're going to see in a minute. Um, you can, you're going to get a bundle, you're going to get a past paper pumpkin, all that for $99, and it's shipped to you for free. I know many of you say, what's the catch? It's no catch. So that means you would join my team, and um, to stay active... Um, to get like 20% on your order down the road to stay active no matter what you're going to be active till September so you're going to have access to the holiday catalog to stay active by September you would have to have $300 in sale but that is before your minimum discount of 20% so 20% of 300 it's $60 discount that bring it down at 240 Let's say you divide that by three months. It's an average of $80 a month. But if you choose not to stay active, what's going to happen? You become back my customer. So that's the sweet Cadillac deal right now going on. It started today. Go till June 30th. The next promotion that we got, let's say that it's not in your cup of tea to join my team. Uh, we got... Uh, $25 extra reward for all order of $250 and above. So 
I know it say just O's, but I scratched that off. It's any order it can be, you place an order of 250, you would get 10% of that. So that would be $25 plus stamping up, adding another 25. That would be $50 of product of your choice. Anything you can pick, uh, ink, stamp set, die, sponge, anything, including the, the stamping um, uh, O's or stamping reward set. So you would get $50 on that. So another great deal. So now that I told you the deal, let's jump in. And I'm going to go through all that. I'm trying to see the, the comment, but all it's at the other end. And all is she's my right hand when it comes to all this. And she is super quick at that. You know, I wouldn't type that fast, right? And it would be full of mistakes. So let me flip you down. I'm going to bring you all around. We're going to set the camera first, and then we're going to go. Okay, now let me do uh, my magic here. Okay, here is the beautiful catalog. If you see, I got all the tabs done. That is already on my blog. If you go at FrenchyStamps.com, you're going to see the printable chart or the... I think it's called printable chart. Let me see what it say. It is, it's a, I should know that, right? I just go with my eyes closed there. So on my blog, it's a chart stamping 101, and that's going to give you a drop-down menu, and it's print chart. There, you got the label. I'm going to have a video on how to put the label. That's going to be next Monday. And then I got the label for the punch, the dies, the stamp set. So I worked with uh, Michelle, one of my teammates, that we uh, collaborate uh, those that, that work together. So it is a lot of work. So I ask if you're not a customer and you appreciate all the freebie that I give, because all that I share for that, it's taking time away from my regular business, right? I ask if you're not a regular customer, you can shop with any demonstrator you want. You don't have to commit to no one. I just add for a token of appreciation, a small order, small, big, medium, I accept them all. That's how uh, you can appreciate all the work that we put in it. So I really would appreciate your support on that. I know we got a glare now that is the cover. It should get away. If you look all this, this is all stuff I want to share. Uh, the purple one also. So I got a lot of stuff. So let's dive right in. And I'm going to go, okay, let me, I want to make sure that I set my catalog. Okay, I think I want my catalog a little bit more so you can see maybe the page. Let me see. Okay, we're going to leave it like that. I'm going to try to remember to tell you what page I'm at. So now um, I'm looking at uh, maybe a little bit. I think this is too light. Tell me if this is too light. I think it's good, but... You tell me if this is too light, and if it's too light, I'm going to go back. So on page one, you got all the sweet. What is a sweet? So I'm going to go right in so you can see right there the sweet. So if I go right away at a sweet, I just want to share with you what is a sweet. So I'm going to go to this one. This is our um, customer appreciation, and it happened this month, uh, all the design there. I give a little token for the team that designed it, and we all share together. So with a note of $40, with this OSTIS code, you're going to get the sixth project. 
So, look good, look good, perfect. So that is B U W Z B S Q R. I don't pick those codes. When I place an order, it gives me a code. So if you place an order of forty dollars or more, you're gonna get the customer appreciation, and it's all about the world of good bundle. And um, if you order, it's over one fifty. Do not, do not enter the hostess code. You're gonna get the rewards. And also, you're going to get the PDF. If you're part of my team, you get the PDF. So every month, you get the, the customer appreciation. So a suite, what is a suite? You get the number of the suite right here. In the suite, you do have the 10% like the bundle. But the 10%, it's on the stamp set and the die like a bundle. So it's not 10% on everything in the suite. It's 10% of the die and the, the stamp set. Or if the bundle would be uh, with the punch, it would be the punch and the stamp set. So you get a one number. You can enter this number right here and it lists everything you would get. So a suite, it's all product that all coordinate together. That's what a suite is. And this year, we got all of these suites here. Uh, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got ten suites. So that's what a suite stands for. Okay? Now, throughout the catalog, you're going to see a few uh, emblems. So you're going to have the YouTube emblem. So that means if you see that, if you go at stampingup.com on YouTube or uh, on YouTube and stamping up channel, it's going to be a video there for that product. Pinterest, that means they put stuff on Pinterest. That's what it stands for. Or Facebook, and then they got Instagram. But really the two it's that I, I really recommend, it's like the Pinterest and YouTube, they got, and it's going to show those emblems. Now, you got this little starburst here. It's in the blue at the bottom there. You're going to see that throughout the catalog. That means it is 10% on the bundle. When it's give you the 10%, you have to enter the number of the bundle to get the 10%. You cannot enter the stamp set and then the die or the punch. That will not give you the 10%. You have to enter the number of the bundle. When you see the big N, in the starburst in red, that means it's new in this catalog. That's how you can already tell if you got it or not, because if it's new, well, if you didn't place an order yet from this catalog, that means you don't have it, right? So that is the suite. Now, the next, I won't go through all the page, but I'm gonna go through a lot of them, okay? Next year, if you are new, I really strongly uh, that strongly recommend that you look at page three it explained between the two stamp set we get the cling cling it's a red rubber that it's now they are super super sticky that with that you're going to need a clear block so that's what cling mean okay then we got the photopolymer photopolymer it is a see-through stamp set. You see, it's see-through, and again, it go on clear block. So that's a photopolymer. A photopolymer, if you use like cherry cobbler, melon mambo, it's gonna stain. Don't worry about if it's stained, it's just mean that you rub your stamp set. So they explain the difference between the two, but all our stamp set now, you need clear block. You don't need one for every stamp. You can just remove it, peel it, put the stamp when you need it, and so on. And here, they tell you a little bit about some technique, uh, not technique, but stamping, uh, a little bit about it. Two-step stamping, stamp off, uh, out stamp with markers, a pattern builder, masking, and eat and boss. So they tell you a little bit of the basic over here. Now we're going to keep on going, and here they talk about the color.
But the next few page, I think again, for if you are uh, new to stamping, I think uh, kits are wonderful. We get paper pumpkin, that it's a monthly thing, that it explained here, and then you get a different kit. So some of the kit come with the stamp set, the, the ink spot. So an ink spot, I absolutely love my ink spot with my stamparatus. But the ink spot, it's this size here. Let me find one that it's open. You're going to say, well, that is way too small to stamp. Absolutely not. What you're going to do, instead of bringing the stamp set to the ink pad, you keep it upside down. And you take your spot and tap it. And the reason why I like the spots, it's for the stamparatus, then it don't go on the side of the thing. So I absolutely love that. In every paper pumpkin, you're going to have one or more spot. So you save them. And you can buy re-inker for your spot and keep on using it. And a regular ink pad, it's this big. Okay? So, in the kits, it's going to tell you, like this one here, you get everything to make 15 cards. It comes with a clear block. It comes even with um, glue dots. It comes with the spot, and it comes with the stamp set. So, you get everything in this one to make 15 cards, five of each. Now, the next one, this is a carryover. I absolutely love this one. I don't know because if it's the plain and the palm tree, but... This one again, it come with the stamp set, the spot, and so on. So on page seven, both kits are perfect for the one that don't have anything. You would have everything in there. The only thing, scissors would be great to add. Now the next page, that right here, it is on page eight. I cannot wait to put my hands on that. This one here, you get just the paper product. And you have to buy your stamp separately. So just read the description. So this here, you, the stamp set, and those stamp set, you can use it on any other card. Nothing say you can only use it on that. So you get the stamp set over here, and you get the paper product there. So you can buy the paper product. Let's say you want to make more than 16 cards. So um, this one, is, this one you get four of each. Or 16 cards so you can buy two kits and then just the one stamp set uh, one thing in the catalog 90 I'm gonna say about 97 percent of the stamp set in the catalog it show at true size if it's not it will be noted right here it is here is the full size, and this is just at 40%. So right here on page uh, 8, it is one that it's not the full size. Most of it, what you see, it's what you get. But this year, it show right there. And it show it's a distinctive uh, stamp. And I'm going to talk to that in a little bit. So that was the kids. Now we got the thing that it's called the medley. The medley, the medley. The medley, it's a kit on steroids. Put it that way. I would say it's more for the advanced stamper. You got uh, lots of paper. You got dye. You got a stamp. So it's a lot more expensive if you see at $70. But here you get the refill too. You can buy just the refill. So... Again, this stamp set here, it's only at 50%. So, and they are rare in the catalog. It's just right here in the kit. I want to make sure that you understand this is not the true size. 40%, except the get well, that was the full size there. And here it's at 50%. So it's, sometimes it's hard to imagine what is double the size, but I wanted to bring that to your attention. But this kit here, why it's so expensive, it come with the dies, and it come with ribbon, uh, cardstock, and so on. Now, do you see this little emblem there? It say mini in the blue. Well, you know that in the catalog, we're going to see it at the end of the catalog, we get the new stamping um, cut and emboss machine. It is in the catalog, but it's not available yet. 
when will it be available? They said mid year of the catalog, mid term of the catalog, but we don't have no dates yet. Trust me, when I get any update, I will give you all the update that I can give you. So when you see the mini uh, by a die, that means those die will fit in the mini. Do you have to have boat machine? Absolutely not. The mini, it's nice, like if you travel and so on, or maybe you want one on your desk. Uh, the mini dies will fit in the, the regular machine, but if you don't see the mini by the die, they will not fit in the mini. So you know the big machine going to take all size, but the mini, they're specific. And you're going to see the mini quite often. So that's what the mini stand for there. So that's a lot of information, right? Okay, now, uh, here is the, the, one of the suite right here with the flower for every season. I got a lot of cards on that. One thing that I want to bring to your attention over here, it is in for the designer series paper. Do you see right down there? It gives you the coordination of designer series paper that go with it. So like this, it go with magenta, cinnamon cedar, bumblebee, just date, misty, moonlight. You know what I just told you here? I just told you the hand colors. All this paper, the flower for every season, it goes with all the in color. I got a truckload of those cards done, and it, I done it for, um, it was for, uh, let me think here, let me think. It was for uh, the punch, and I will go over the punch so you can see them in action a bit. And not only these cards show the, the thing, but uh, the paper, but it showed the new embossing folder. So um, I got like three showcase on these cards. So I showed a new folder. I showed a new um, punch that is lovely, uh, pick, blah, 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 lovely label pick a punch. Well, let me do a little demonstration. Because it is a trick to this, okay? Absolutely. I don't want to move the catalog, though. So, if you see on my punch, I put half inch, three quarter, and one inch. So, it's two punch at one. One, it's rounded like scala, and one, it's the flat, the straight edge. So, here, you can do any length that you want. I got a video coming on that just about this punch. I, the trick to it, it's the length, whatever, you're going to decide the length. It's a quarter inch. You're going to increase by a quarter inch for the length and the same for the width. So then you're going to have the perfect frame around. Both of them are the same way. If you skip a layer, then it's going to be a half inch. So just remember, it's a quarter inch. And that should remind you, it's half, three quarter, and one. So let me show you with one inch. I like to put it at the top and go down and push. Oh, well, I have to open it up and push. Okay, it looks straight, right? Look below, and a lot of time you're going to hit the edge there and you're going to think you're straight but see you're not straight so you want to make sure that your cardstock is straight in the back and equally on each side because if you think you hit the the wall there and it's just one corner hitting the wall that's a big learning curve to this punch so when you learn to look in the back see it straight and then punch when i remove this here I don't flip it this way. I I remove it and flip it upside down. It seems that then it's more equally. Again, I look in the back, make sure that I hit the wall there, that it's straight, and then I punch. Et voila. So, and then let me share with a smaller end here. I'm going to go to half inch. This one will pretty much in the 
um, the tray there but sometimes you think it's straight it's not so I just want to make sure that I'm straight back there I'm gonna punch and again remember I take it flip it upside down and go down and I like to check I got burned one too many times I think et voila so and then if you go to the tiny one that's the half inch then it's just slide right in, go in. Oops, I think I was off a little bit of my half inch. I'm gonna try up. See, I was not in. I thought it is, but I was not in. So you want to make sure you're in. And then punch. And then again, flip it upside down. You're gonna say, why why do you flip it upside down? It's just that it seems it match better for each uh, the curve here. Okay? And then it voila. Here I was off, see? So you can do any length that you want. Whatever length you need, start with, and then you're gonna decrease the next uh, you're gonna I'm sorry. You're going to look at uh, the link that you want, and then you're going to go with this the, the tag that you want at the top, and then you're going to increase by a quarter inch if you want the three, or just another one, it's half inch if you skip one. I got a video just about that, but I wanted to bring that to your attention. See, boom and boom. So now that I got that, I want, so now you see all the paper here that come in the six by six, and I will have all my chart of the designer zero paper to when I get all my paper. Um, so you get the bundle, and I got some sample with this here. Let me flip the page, and I thought I had one with the, oh, it get mixed here, here. And I won't read the name of the creator. These are part of a swap that I participate. When I post them on my blog, I will give them all credit. It's just that it will take too long. So this stamp set, I don't know if you remember, at Christmas time we had the cup of cheer that was a reversible. So this is another reversible stamp set, the jar of love. What is a reversible stamp set? It is... So you get the detail, see you get the detail here, and then you get the full image. So you can stamp this one and this on top so you would have a full jar of beer. Put it that way or whatever, lemonade, whatever you put in, right? Or water for your flowers, so you got it. So that's, so the back of the detail, it's the one that you're going to use to put the color inside the jar. So that is the reversible, the mountain air also. It's just down the, the street here, right here. That is a reversible. So you stamp your mountain, and then this big black one there, you stamp at the top, and that's your color. So that's what the it's going to say here. It's two-step, and it is a stamp image or reversible. So I already explained about the bundle of 10%. Remember, if you want the 10%, see right here, you get the 10% there. All over here, you get the 10%. So you have to kind of look in the corners, okay? Now, uh, again, coming to flowers for every season, I had these two cards here done with that. If you love flowers, you're going to love that, absolutely. And this was a flip. Here we go. And this was the stamp set of the sunflower. Now, I got a little bit to tell you more about the sunflower. And I got a lot of sample with the sunflower. So let me share what I want to share with the sunflower. I told you that this is uh, the walkthrough on steroids. So it's going to be a little bit longer than normal. So... For the, um, let me grab all these samples here. I got a lot of that. So it is a popular one, put it that way. So here's one of mine. See, I didn't stamp in the back. It's just two-tone. That's one of mine. 
another one of mine. And when I see one of mine, that means a video is coming with that, right? Here, this is a, my thank you card for one, uh, one of the month coming up. I don't know when. I did all that when I was in Cheyenne. Did quite a few of them. And I used the designer Siri paper. Excuse me, it's called In Good Taste. Love it. It's all texture paper. This here, it's comfort and oak the, in the background. Okay, this is not mine. Oh, more of mine. Here is another one of mine that I sponge, just sponge, and it's no stamp on that. It's just a sponge that it look more toned. And this is another one of mine. And this is kind of F um, cut, a video coming up on that. Here is what I wanted to share. So the dye go very lovely with, and if you see, you get three, Michelle shared that with me, you get like three flopping this way. That's how I can match them. Well, that's what I thought right here. See, boom, it match. Look at the three petal that go to the right then it's easy to match. So if you put it that way, it's perfectly fine. You don't need whatever. If you stamp, the stamp, it's not just like the die. Because if you see, so where's the three going on the side here? Here it is. I'm going to have to share that upside down here so I can have it. Okay. So now you see, it's perfectly at the beginning, it's all go perfect, but here it's overlap different petal. So I want to bring that to your attention. Don't think that when you buy this die that you think, oh my gosh, it's not matching. That's the way it is built. So you can use it by itself. You still can use this like that. I saw a lot of card and it still look very lovely. It's just that those petals don't go with the, the dies on top it go at one end and then here where it falls it's not quite the same but you can use it like that absolutely but now you know okay let's move along okay the next one all the sunflower that i'm sharing for the next one it's all part of the swab that i did so here is one she used the designer siri paper to put her top layers here is another one with the little one, the center, beautiful. This is the new designer series paper of the in color. I get the new folder in the back. I love that folder. Oh, here is another one of mine. I call that the um, full uh, burning wood, that burn, that varnish, burnish, burnish. Uh, that's a video coming up on that. And here is another one. Love this paper. That's that picture paper. It's called um, In Good Taste. Love it. Did I say I love it? Yes, I do. And again, she used the brown and the bumblebee. Here's again, stamp the border. And here it is in Mary Merlot. So don't think that sunflower just go in yellow, my friends. You saw I did it in pink. So you don't have to put it in just yellow. You can use many, many colors, okay? All this was done from other demonstrator swap that I participate. Oh, did I show you this one? Here we go. Okay, move along. Oh, before we go a little bit further down the street though, I wanna share, okay, I shared the bundle uh, was it no maybe it's another page so let's keep on moving <coughs> okay so in I, sometimes I feel like a broken record but if you think I'm a broken record remember we always get some new uh, comer so uh, if you already know it it's just a refresh of it and if you don't, well, sweet, but don't think, oh my gosh, she repeat the same thing over and over. It's not the case. I want to make sure that even my newcomer uh, get all the detail. So when you see the cream color, that means it go with a punch. So you can add that with a punch. When you see the back, like see it's not white like these, it's don't have no background to it. 
that means it go with the dye. So remember, dye, it's metal, it's gray. Punch, it's still metal, but it's an. So that's an, the color of your, maybe the color of your, our skin. Some of it could be darker, but I'm going to say the color of my skin, it's cream. So that is an and punch. So that's how it's easy to remember and the cream. All throughout the catalogs, don't look at just the stamp or the sample. You get all 10 bits every place you get distinctive ink to tell you what it's look like. Because a distinctive if you stamp with that and some of you think it don't stamp right, that's the way it should stamp. So it stamps lighter at places, darker at different places. That distinct ink. So that's how it works. So you're going to have all different um, uh, timbits here and there. Now, talking about timbits here and there, on my uh, blog where I say go for um, uh, resource 101 or uh, whatever that I say right at the top there, you're going to find it's called the recipe. This year, Stamping Up said we can share it with you all. So it's already there. Let's say that you look at, I have to back up the bus here. Which page that was? One minute, page three. Okay, I have to back up the page to three. Okay. Oh, right here, page three. So every... Every project, every card they put in that, you get the recipe. Some of it, the recipe, it's give a little bit more. Another one, I call it the grandma recipe. It's a dash of this and a dash of that. But you see the card at the bottom right here, the sunflower. See, it's right there. It was on page three. You get the flower there. It said the technique was masking, stamping, blend, coloring. If you wonder, did they watercolor? Did they use marker? Tell you right here they use the stamping blend color uh, they tell you the stamp set they use they tell you the color of cardstock the color of ink the embellishment and the tool someplace they're going to even give you some measurement but you get the basic of the recipe i got that it's 217 page so i don't know if you want to print that out but you can go on my blog or save it in a file and you can pull that. They're all in order. So it's all by page. And here they get page three. This was the card that it's right here. And it tells you everything they use and so on. So that resource, it's already on my blog that you can download it and so on. So that was very sweet of stepping up to share with us. Very much so. Okay, now let's keep on rolling, my friend. Okay, this is the punch that I already share, so we're going to skip through that quite a bit. So that is the punch that I share, and it coordinates with Lovely You. So all the greeting that I share on this was all from this stamp set, Lovely You. Again, you can get the bundle right here at 10%, and that was those cards that I share. And we already went through the the uh, the punch, so we're good to go. And again, right here, it say one punch, six option. How about that? And so I tell you right here. So throughout the catalog, you get all the bits and pieces. Now you get the color palette that it's new. That it tell you like uh, here what they use for those col uh, color palette this is all the ink color so we're going to go at another one that i'm going to share different this is the world of good like i said that's part of our customer appreciation and let me share a few cards that it's part of that so this is one that i made so that means it's a video coming up and i absolutely love what i done with this if you see it's kind of loose here see so the video, it's coming up on that. It's a trifold and the world is there. 
So stay tuned for that video. It's on. It's already done. Now the next one that I'm going to share, it's some that I got from uh, the swap. Here it is. So that's part of the die. Some people was wondering what that was. Here it is. Is that pretty? So pretty. And look at that folder. That folder, it's yummy. The folder that go with this, it's called World of um, Old World Paper 3D. It's a thick one. And so I did all the folder that I got in the new one. And I use uh, the in color gets. This is the Misty uh, Moonlight. See how rough it is. It's real, uh, I mean, it's beautiful. I love folder and this is speaking loudly to me. Can you see how deep it is? I think you can see how deep it is. This is super, super deep. Yes, the, the blends, we will go through that. The in color, we're gonna go through that. They're all available in blend exception of one color. I will uh, cover that, absolutely. I just saw that comment. So that is this folder here, beautiful. In this suite also, you got those sweet element. It's called the slider and the corner. See this, I got a video on that. And this ribbon that it's part of this, it's a velvet, uh, uh, full suede trim, not velvet, full suede. This year, I would pick that all day long. It's softer than my dog, absolutely softer than my dog. It's Beautiful. I got one that want to go outside. I'm going to have to be right back. One second. I'm sorry. He was at the door crying. Well, I think it's because the deer are eating our trees there, but they're fins, so we're good. Whew, I ran like a dog. Okay, so um, it is, and then I just use glue dot to glue them. There are, I love it. I love, I love vintage, so that speak loudly to me. So this year, like for the slide through, what I done, you can use whatever this size ribbon that is um, a quarter inch. So a quarter inch ribbon gonna work. So you're gonna put it under and down. Voila. And then you're gonna put it on your card wherever you want it. That simple. So I just tuck it under, glue it there and boom. So you got those lovely embellishments. And if you notice on my card, I did some on this side. It's just lines, but I think it gives some character also. And I did one, you get like a little um, loop-de-doop there. It's the same thing, I just reverse it. So I use both sides to show you. So the top I put with the, the side it should be. At the bottom I put where with the lines. They both look great, I think. So that is this lovely uh, embellishment and this ribbon, trust me. And then also with uh, this sweet, you get the memory and more. Remember the memory and more. Um, it's not just to make scrapbook. They are lovely to do um, cards with. I know I'm gonna do many cards with that. Most of the time, I pick a, uh, some memory and more, and I do a class like 30-something card. I plan to do that with this. So that is, that. is, I'm telling you, I could pick that ribbon all night long. It is soft. Soft, soft, soft. So that is this sweet. Now let's go to the next one. Okay, I already talked about the mini machine and I already told you about the M. So um, that's mainly, you know, it's not available yet. When it's available, I will let you know. Now let's keep on going. Stamp and cup emboss machine, you got it here again. And it's all throughout the catalog. You're going to say, why it's all over and it's not available yet? Well, like I said, 
they decide to keep it in the catalog because it will get available during this catalog. So that's why. So let's move shop project. Okay. This year, throughout the catalog, you're going to see a lot of, it says shop project. So shop project, it's what they use to make the project a bit. So here they use the pedal a partial buy, playful trim combo, stamping embossed. So they tell you more of what they use there. I know you get the thing you can, uh, you know, go look now, but throughout the catalog, they're going to name that. And here, see again, it's a create a type of cloth inspired by, uh, inspired by, by blah, 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 banner by using a laser cut paper as stencil to apply the ink to the project. See, so they give you all 10 bits throughout the catalog. So don't look just at the picture. When you see little corner, take a look at that. It's amazing. Now, this is new. I had to get myself educated. I had to um, ask people and then I call and then I find my answer. It was in the catalog. It's a, a, you're going to find on page 33, 38, 39, 47, 55, 102, 137 that in the description of the stamp set, you're going to have hinge with the H, H I N G E step. What that means? Well, it is a stamparatus technique. So let me bring my stamparatus. This stamp set that I am using, it is not one that it say that it's an inch, but that's the one because they all knew pretty much the one that they put there. But I can I can share with you what that stands for. So I'm using comfort and oak, and I'm using the chickers here, the, the grid. I'm using the grid, not the chickers, the grid, and here how it works. So let me um, start another one here. Oh, I wanted to use gray, and I don't have gray, it's in my way. Okay, so I just put right here at the corner, okay? As much as I can, right there in the corner. I'm not one to use a lot of... Um, I'm not one to use a lot of the, or whatever it's called, the magnet. I'm afraid of it, put it that way. So I like to use my corner. Some people don't like corner. I love the corner. So we're going to use, you know what, I'm using Pretty Peacock. So I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. And also when you use the Stamparatus, I like to put a, a, a pad, not a pad, but a stamp case under so it keeps this flush. You want to tap. Stamp, lift it up. This is the inch technique. You lift it from the inch and you close it down. You go to the next one, tap, go down, lift it up. Oops, lift it up, go to the next one. So you go down one every time. So a lot of the stamp set are designed for this technique. So they would match all perfectly it like do a pattern like that here lift it up and then here and this is it so now you know how the inch technique work that is so it's throughout the catalog when you're gonna see the a stamp set that say inch technique this is what it stand for my friends this was new to me that they put that in the stamp set. It was a technique that I knew about it, but I didn't know they were adding that title to a stamp set. But you see, it's all the way straight. It all go down very lovely. So, oops, that's shiny there. So that is it. So maybe for some, this is new. I hope that I help you understand the catalog better. So here the ex explain see you get all those little tim bits throughout the catalog so they explain take your uh, stamping to the next level with the stamparatus here's how do the inch step technique by stamping an image and it tell you so you get the technique there here again 
shot the project they told you a little bit more of what they use and you see how the the spot look lovely on the uh, i should have used that so that is one right there and it's at many pages too now uh, this is going to be a popular uh, thing i can tell that right away now we got the bundle it's many mats and i got a few sample with that here it is, and here it is. This is with the one on the next page, but she used those dies. So that's one right here. And so again, the punch, you see, this is a new stamp set, the pretty parasol, but it matched with this the punch we already had. Also, in the catalog, you're going to see at places, let's say you look at this bundle, they're going to tell you stuff that kind of coordinate with that. It's going to say you might also like, and here it is. They're going to show under my umbrella. That's the one that carry over. So throughout the thing, you get uh, lots of information. This catalog, it's more than a catalog. It's full of ideas, full of very, full of knowledge of stamping, put it that way. Now we're going to move along. Oh, this one, I absolutely love it. So that your newcomer to stamping, or your old timers, <laughs> or avid stamper, I should say, you get step it up. So you get the simple card right here. You get a step above, so they add some designer series paper. And they add some uh, more of the flowers and so on. And here, they did the background. They added more designer series paper. And the friends, it's a die cut. So they step it up. One, two, three. So when you see that, you know you get for beginner, medium, advanced. And even if I say beginner, let me tell you, I love the beginner cards. I've been stamping for uh, 18 years. And I absolutely love the beginner card. I love simple card. So don't think that's a cheesy card because I say it's beginner. It is not. Get that out of your mind. Here it go. Another stamping collection or palette. So right here it gives you gorgeous grapes, calypso coral, bumblebee, and pool party. That's the color palette that they use for this you so it's a good like um color uh combo talking about that i got on my blog it's already stamping up provided us with the color coach so my color coach i um me like pure pizzazz i cut it on the lines there and i mount it on pure pizzazz so then i get the color thing and then you get a plain one also that you can make your own combo. So you can save your own combo. So that is the color coach. Again, it is free and that it's provided by Stamping Up, okay? So you can go ahead and print yours or you can look at it so you get nice color combination. Hey, I feel it's time for me to have a drink. Only do we have a winner. And again, if you are the winner, soon we're done, you have to email me. That's how I know you were present. You're going to win a bone folder. I got two someplace. I got another one here. And it's engraved with my mark. Oh, this one is not. Oh, wait a minute. Here it is. Another one. Voila. So, um, are we going to have to, we get, are we going to pick a winner now? She got a machine that she put the name and then she's going to send me the, the winner. And then we, you guys going to have to email me and I will send that to you uh, as a little token for being with us tonight. And the first winner, it is bling bling. Congratulations! So please uh, email me your mailing address. 
So let's move along. Oh, another make and take here or whatever, another presentation. So this one, I guess it is the most expensive bundle. And talking about the bundle, remember I told you on the, the shopping list, you get all the different categories, so it's easy. You can find stuff in the catalog. And in the so if you feel bad, I think you want to join my team. Yeah. In the back of it, you get all the bundles with the stamp that it's 10%. So it is um, eight bundles with punch and 26 with dies. You get it all listed here with the stamp set and so on the page so you can see them all there. You can print it on two page. I print it back and forth there. Okay, so this bundle, I guess it's the most expensive one and I didn't even, the girls told me that last night I had my team meeting and they said, that's the perfect bundle to, um, if somebody wanted to join, because it's $60. One thing that I was telling them, if this don't turn your fancy on, don't pick this bundle if you join my team and say, oh, I get $60 of free. If it just collect dust, then it's then you really didn't get nothing for free. You just collected dust. Pick something. Pick a bundle, your the most expensive bundle that you love, okay? So let me share with you some fun parts. So I got a video coming up. Um, so this color didn't turn out how I was planning, but it's still pretty. It's Bumblebee and Crush Curry. I wanted to show you the difference between the two colors. So I kind of killed two birds with one stone there. Here is another one. So that's just using the dye, really no stamps. Here is just using the stamps, no dye on top. This here, my friend, it's watercolor. Probably inspired me to do this. And also see it's in, in the catalog there. That, it, I, I cannot wait to share the video. Because I die cut that before the watercolor. And I put that on the adhesive sheet that now we do have. And even with the watercolor, when I remove it, let it dry, it was still sticking. I give it the test and it worked. So it's awesome. So this is watercolor. Now I got it here and this is with blends. Let me share how it's done. So I use, um, I use the old um, sheet because I don't have the new one yet. But what I done, I just use different color blends, okay? And because it's going to be mounted on black, I think that it's great to have something uh, very flashy, okay? So I just use all the flashy color that I could uh, find. And see, I didn't pay attention if I go on top of the other one, so be it. Um, the one in the with the watercolor, I did that with the, yes ma'am and sir, I did that with aqua painter with water and it still was sticking, absolutely. It was wicked cool. And the reason why I say use uh, the adhesive sheet, it's cause when it comes to those little detail, it's a painful to glue. But if you use the adhesive sheet, kaboom, it's done. And I just saw that I get excited a bit too much here. That happened when I, I stamp, I do get excited. That I had the brown there. Here we go. So another thing when you use the adhesive sheet, it removes a lot of the bits and pieces. So I'm gonna take a corner someplace here. Oh. That's the artist part here to separate from this. Okay, now I'm gonna take this, pull this up. See, most of the little piece stay right there. And it's just a tiny little bit. And usually what I do, I put my finger under and see, boom. It's it's nasty, to, not nasty, but it's a pain to get off. But that, I mean, boom. I don't have no uh, 
nothing to uh, poke. I just do this. I try with a piece of tape. I thought that would work. That didn't work. So let me clean my finger there. And so now you're going to see the difference between watercolor and blends, and they're both beautiful. You don't have to color it neither, because you saw I did some without coloring. Okay, now I'm going to have bits and pieces on me, but that's okay, right? It was work stopped to show you that. So when the, this is over, if you want uh, guys to... Uh, send me a message or you can put it in the comment uh, and it's not a complaint when it's for con uh, con constructive uh, what you like what you wish it would be different i love to know uh, what people like some people i know you're going to say it's too long but the walkthrough it's a walkthrough it's very longer now, I did the same thing for the big layers. I shared that with my team yesterday at the meeting. So I did the same thing than this. So it's two dies. It, well, it's more than two dies, but two of the big dies. See, one and two. And then you get those little dies to go with it. You get four little dies of the flowers. So, uh, oops. So uh, I did the big one. You see, you can use it by itself, or you can use it together. Oh, this way. See how pretty it is? Yellow and uh, blue. So that is this bundle. Let me uh, put that on. And the way that I like, I use the two uh, leaves, the one that point and leave at the bottom. Top right, uh, I mean top left and bottom right. That's the way that I can fit it on all uh, quarter sheet. And then I just go around to match it. So, et voila. Now what I do when I get that, I don't want to go like this in case like this, I get the pedal, I could rip that up, right? I like to turn it upside down. And use a bone folder that some of you are going to win. It's, it's not one of yours, but I take my bone folder press it in the back, and press it here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to mount that on Flirty Flamingo. Et voila, i still going to put a greeting. But you're going to get the, uh, the jig of it on uh, those um, neon colors, right? And so this is blends. Oh, one more thing. What did I do with the other one? My goodness. Here they are. So when I did the big one, you know, uh, peel that, I took, well, I'm on a white sheet, though. A white sheet going to go inside of this. And I took bits and those petals here, and I made my own flowers there. See? So I'm using some of those petals. Now I cannot remember which side. Okay, that one was there. So it should come right here. So I just did. That's what go inside my cards. How about that? Is that cool? So you can use your bits and piece. Put this one here. And one more. Here we go. So now I got this flower. I can even take one of those leaves. back here and I can even put that right here if voila so now I get for my inside how cool is that see so this is watercolor and like I said even with watercolor I was able to fill the sheet and mount them. You have to let it dry, though, before you mount them. And here. Is that cool? 
So I'm gonna call this when I share the video, I call that the tie dye technique, okay? So it would work with the blends too. Voila. So that is this. I got more. So now you see here they use the stamp set. Oops, that's a swap that I received. They use the stamp set and they put the dye on top also. Voila. And here is another one, triple stamping. Oops, all upside down. They just use the stamp set. So you can use the stamp, the dye, whatever float your boat. Okay, my drink is empty. I'm going to get the water. Wicked cool. Good, good, good. Okay. Got a bottle, new bottle of water. Okay, then, um, and, oops, I got um, my note here say palette. Where, oh yeah, like at the bottom, you get more color palette. We're on page 51, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm not good telling the page. So, um, yes, I don't have no metallic uh, pencil. I used to. Here is another inch, so they show you here how it's done. See, another inch right here. Now you get another color palette there. This year, oh, Christmas, uh, you get Christmas in the catalog. So now you get Christmas here, it's a just emboss it. So you get different technique throughout the catalog also. Shine dry that they talk about the shimmer, uh, the wink of Stella. So you see all throughout the catalog, you get all those things. Uh, the punch and that, see here, this match a punch and then it's in the gray. That means it's a, a die that match that. Throughout the catalog, you're gonna see that. Here is another palette that they show right here. And again, on this page, again, you get step it up. More easy, they add up the paper in the back, then they added the die cut and so on. So one, two, three. Here is another one that it say, you might, might also like. So that means that those dye would go very good with these stamp set. So throughout the catalog, you're gonna see a lot of that. Up front, so they use the dye to decorate the front. Right there, you got a technique. I'm still peeling bits and pieces of that flower. I think I'm done. Here, a technique right here, how to stamp off. They tell you the technique on how to stamp off. So now you get the jig throughout the catalog, you get a lot. This sweet here, I think gonna be super popular. The peony, I cannot see it right, but it's a beautiful flower. Um, see how, ooh, that's my hair. I see how 3D it is. That paper, it's beautiful. It's petal pink, gray granite, and basic gray, see? Again, the designer series paper, they tell you the, those color right there. And again, if you want the whole suite, you get the number here. You're still going to get the 10%. That price include 10% of the stamp set and the dies. Or you can buy just the bundle up on the next page right here. You get 10%. But know that if you choose a suite, it is 10% on that. Okay. Now step it up. Here again, it's another step it up card. See how pretty that is. And then here, it's still you uh, personalize your project by adding any color to the softness gray of white tone. So they keep on telling you all bits and pieces here. Okay, here the comfort and zo and O, that's the one I told you in the back of that uh, card that I did some thank you. 
This year, you're going to see me use a lot. I love element stamps, so that's speaking loudly to me. How to add texture. So those stamp set help you to add texture. And technique of uh, the inch again. Uh, technique. Oh, right here, it tells you how to stamp with markers. They show you how to stamp with markers right here. Here it's another inch stamp set. I'm on page 103. Now here, shop the project. Again, shop the project. Tell you what they use to make the car. Now let's keep on rolling. This paper, I absolutely love it. I love it so much that I did over 200 cards with it. Yes, I'm crazy and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this week, Forever Greenery, again, you get this beautiful paper and it goes with Forever Ferns. So these cards are made by the swap that I participate. This is one of my favorite print in that. Just make me happy. It's because it's that blue. Here it is. Circle in, in it with that bowl. Is that pretty? Lovely. Here is the new one of the new folder. It's just gorgeous. Here is a good way. It showed this different strip. It's a great way to use a scrap and also a great way to show the, the designer zero paper. She skipped on the whale. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have, um, I cannot go through all of them. The whale, absolutely. That's another sweet. You get the paper and you get the dice. Uh, no, that's a punch. I'm sorry. That's a punch. A punch with the whale. I'm sorry, Penny. I just saw your uh, thing there. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna go get back on track. Oh. Now, the next one, okay, let's go to the next one. Here, they talk another technique. Silver, or the silver, the die. So, you know, silver, that means it's a die. I thought the next one, where is it? I think I skipped one, maybe not. Let's keep on going. Okay, the distinctive in that I told you about, you know, that you think that you stamp wrong because you get lighter at one end and darker at the other end and a medium. That's the style of stamp. I absolutely love that uh, style. You get the full list right here on page 114. Page 114, if you like that style, I absolutely love it, like healing hugs, Beautiful friendship. You get all them listed here. I think it's 14, 2, 4, 6, 8. This owns two says the best thing says good sweet. It's 18 of them. So 18 distinctive ink uh, stamps, and you can find all the pages, they're all listed there. That it's on page 114. Okay. I'm missing, a, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing one. Which page is it? I got a bunch of cards here. Oh. And here is uh, another uh, one that I absolutely love. See how they did the brick? They use this. It's nothing that looked like a brick, but that they use piece by piece. Here I got... Oh, okay. Uh, I'm not losing it. I'm good. I'm good. Never mind. I thought I had skip a page. Okay, the birds. I thought I had the cards with the birds. Yeah, I do. Here is a card with the birds and branch. And this is one of the uh, next step. Two-step stamping. What is two-step stamping? If you look on page 21. They tell you how to do two-step stamping. 
So two-step stamping, it's like this and this. You put that on top, you're going to have the two color and so on. You see, it looked like two color. You got it right here. Two-step stamping, it tells you right here how to do that. Uh, if you love texture, that's the one I told you about, in good taste, it's, it is my taste. Trust me, love this bundle. Did I say it? I love it so much that I cut almost 200 cards by hand, fussy cut. It's no die with it. It's no punch with it. But it make me happy, happy. We had get, all got different tastes, right? So this was part of the swap. So they use the framework. So you get dies that match with it, but not for the flower. So the dies that go with that, it is shade dies. Do we see it in the corner? It's right here. You see at the top for the bundle, it's all different shape. So that is two shape of that. And they all stitch. And some of them are kind of raised with lines. Beautiful. That's one. Uh, so here is the flower again. That's uh, the texture wood. Um, the world of good. Not the world of good. Sorry. In good taste. That designer seared paper. And this too. For me, it is yummy. I love it. And here is a card with that set again. And this here, if you look at the embossing folder, that's the tasteful texture embossing folder. I got it done here with um, the, this is bumblebee. And let me share, I got another one. It was done with, I want to share on designer serial paper. See this card? I embossed this one and it looked like fabric. Absolutely look like fabric. Love it. So this don't show much, but it make a very nice texture. Sometimes you just need a little bit of texture. This would be lovely. Here is in the yellow, and that's uh, that's not the new yellow. That is a melon mambo, uh, not melon mambo, mango melody, mango melody. And again, I know you cannot see, but you get like the lines embossed in those frames. Awesome, very very lovely. And here is that I did these two. And that is a video coming on that. You won't believe me, but do you know what is the background? It's the Parishin folder carryover from the mini catalog, but it's toilet paper. So don't you worry. If you buy too much toilet paper before we hit COVID-19, like some of uh, people really overstocked, they bought a truckload. Don't worry about it. Don't, uh, don't start... Um, burning it. You don't want your friend to see how much toilet paper you, you, you bought because I'm going to have the perfect technique for you to use the extra paper, toilet paper that you bought. And I know some of you are here tonight because every time I go to the store, I still toilet paper. It's rare. Don't worry. I didn't rent out, so I'm clean. But if you one of them that bought too much tablooey, I got it. Perfect technique. It is deep. Verna shared that technique with me. Absolutely love it. I turn it a kind of a patina. So video, it's coming on that. And those flowers make me happy. And yes, I am cut that. And then this is the one that I did a few hundred. That's going to be for a thank you card, I think, next month. And I all am cut that. I just color a little bit with the blends at the bottom. So you see a lot of white. But... Uh, you don't have to color the whole thing. Sometimes you just have to follow the artist where she went dark. Just add more color there if you want. Or you can leave it like that. This is a video coming out of that. And you're going to be surprised. Because the way that I cut the paper, you get nine cards instead of six cards out of a big sheet. So stay tuned for this video. And, okay, now... Scrappy here it say get scrappy and here's it's how you can use your scrap right here. Very, very fun. Here is the one the one inch uh, stamps that I told you about. I cannot wear wait to try this one. See the one? I want to try that. That's the inch stamp. 
And here, talking about the size again, so the big background, all of them, they are uh, show at uh, what percentage it is. Um, hmm, I thought it tell me. Okay, I know it's still me someplace I'm, I'm blank, but they show the full size of the print in the circle, okay? They show that in the circle. It say, um, they measure four and a half by five and three quarter and are show at 35%. So they are show at 35%, but the circle are show at 100%. So that would be the size of the print. All, like I said, most of the stamp set, I say 97% at the beginning, maybe it's even higher than that, 98%. Are full size like I'm gonna flip at any here we go for a penny all this here it's all the full size you don't have to guess they are rare when it's not the full size so it's going to tell you when it's not but the background never been the full size what is the angel policy do I have some crafter that like to do craft fair and sell your cards and so on? If you use any of the stamping up image, you have to have the copyright in the back. Absolutely, you can sign your name, you can say ain't made, ain't made by Frenchie and so on. That's not if you send your card. You don't have to do that if you just send your card. That is when you sell your card. You need to have the copyright. They explain about the angel policy on page 139. And um, it's the copyright. It's the stamping up with that circle right here. The C, that's the copyright. So that means somebody buying your uh, cards, they cannot go at Kinko's or whatever and do 500 copy of your cards and sell them. It's copyright of the stamping up image. If you make cards just for pleasure and not sell them, you don't have to put that. That's for people selling the card. Because when people buy something, sometimes they think they buy the image. So that's why you need the copyright. Okay, now if you fell asleep, please wake up because now it's getting very important. Many, many, many thought that the blends was retiring, even after getting the new catalog. What is retiring in the blends? It's you cannot buy this one and this one. You can buy this one now together. So you cannot buy the single one, the dark or the light. They, now they sell as a combo. If you scroll through the catalog and you're going to say it's absolutely, absolutely no, no blends in that. The blends are right here with the colors. So you get it by collection that what I call family. You get bright, neutral, regal, subtle, basic, and color. So in this, you get the eight and a half by 11 cardstock. You get the stamping pad. When you buy a pad, I recommend you buy the ink. And you get the stamping blend combo. In all the combo, we got a melon mambo that in the regular uh, colors that it's new this year. And then in the in color, you get uh, in the blends, you get cinnamon cider, you get just jade. Uh, Magenta Madness and Misty Moonlight. The one we don't have the uh, in the in color, we don't have the Bumblebee. That I would assume it's because uh, we got in the uh, many different yellows. That's why I think. So your blends are with your color. Now, talking about colors, if you look at this, like this is blushing bright. So the top color, it's pretty much when you would ink and stamp. So let me get, I got, well, here, the bumblebee. See, the bumblebee, it matched pretty darn good, right? But if you go down the road, it don't match so good. And I'm like, that is not right. People are going to think they got those color. No, the true color, it's in the circle. Now, what you see below, if it would, you keep on, 
yeah, starting from the bottom, you know, you stamp once there and then off, keep on stamping, you would get those different color as you stamp off. Does it make sense what I say? I think so. So it's just show with one ink pad, you can get many colors come uh, tone. Okay, now, so this year you get the ink refilled, you got this cardstock, you got um, the pad and so on. Now, stay with me. Right here, you love 10% discount, you go to the next page. So you can buy, like by family, the brides, the subtle mutual and that. You can buy that in the assortment of the cardstock. Let's say you're not sure on colors, buy their assortment. That they come in the 12 by 12. That's how the 12 by 12 come. They come in the eight and a half by 11. You get all the numbers below there. So uh, that way, and then you get the six by six designer series paper in each color collection. Now for the ink pad, if you buy the ink color, the old family, you get the 10%. And also if you buy, it's all here, the bright, the neutral, and so on. If you see the 2019-2021, it's 7 instead of 3371, it's because we don't have purple posy ink. It will not come. We, they had problem with the color, uh, the true color. So don't look for it. That's why, but you still get 10% on those bundle. So you get 10% if you buy 10 of the ink pad. So 10%, it's like getting one free, I mean, if when you get the big family of 10. Now, it's the same thing for the re-anchor. You can buy every family of the re-anchor, exception of the ink color don't come in a bundle. You have to enter every number for the re-anchor. Talking about the re-anchor, uh, we're having problem getting the bottle and the one that doing the bottle they're doing uh, medical supplies to and that's its priority so right now for the in color of this year 2020 2022 we can only get one of each color of the refill but i think that's going to last a long time right so it's a chance it's going to go on back order or it's going to be not orderable so i would say if you want the reanchor buy it now um, it's just because, you know, with COVID-19, uh, 19, that tosses many balls, curve balls, I should say. So you can get one of every color of the re-anchor, but you cannot have two at this time. So that is, and then it's the same thing for the marker. You don't have to buy the whole shebang every color. You can buy it by family. So this page on 144, it's pretty much the family colors, okay, at 10%, put it that way. Then we get our stamp storage, and then here I cannot concentrate enough on this. Like I said, the catalog is done differently this year, and if you look here, you think this, it's not together uh, beside the picture. So you have to look like, number one, the stamping embossing powder, it's number one. Uh, the Versamar, it's number three, and the refill. So just look at the number if you go by picture, or if you look by the description, then it show you the number beside it. The stamp, same thing over here. Like here, it's number nine. It's on the other page, the Wink of Stella. So be careful when you look at that, if you think, oh, I want this, and you get that number, it's not. The shimmer paint, it's over there. The wink of Stilo, it's there. So just pay very, very careful to this. It's very different. Something new this year, they added a selection of uh, spots. At the bottom on page 147, number 21, they got eight color spots. That's basic gray coastal cabana. Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grapes, Granny Apple Green, Real Red, and Shaded Spruce. So they get a good variation here. So you get spot there. You get also spot in the blank spot, number 18. You get right here, you get, um, I think it's five, yeah, five 
an ink spot for nine dollars so you can use reanchor and make the color that you wish to add so that's all like the water pencil and so on then you get wet the color paper the i mean color paper the designer series paper and right there you get all the color beside it and again be careful if you look at this and you go like this you're going to order in good taste in good taste it's all the way at the bottom so just pay very attention to the number it's like when they print this didn't shift it enough when it comes to the bottom so be very careful don't go just like this and look at the number you're going to have the wrong paper look at the number and then go there because here if i go here i'm going to go i'm going to buy play uh, playing with palettes really peony it's there so be very very careful with that super careful okay now we got uh the tools that's going to come and then like the package now if you look for the basic like the white cardstock, the tick, the watercolor paper, the envelopes and that, that's all on page 153. We got the new Rainbow Glimmer paper. We got the Velveteen paper. I didn't see, see it yet. I cannot wait. In the foil, you see the end, like I told you, the brass, it's new in the foil. Now, uh, here you get the like scrapbook you know the memory and more you get different card base now over here uh, again this page pay very careful attention because it's going to be easy to make a mistake very much so i already shared with you the antique corner and slider now um here, what I want to share with you, those loops. Do you see those loops? That it's kind of fun. Here it is. That's number three. It's called Gold Hoops Element. It's ten of them. They're not bracelet. First, I thought they were very something different. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, eh, what am I going to do? But they are fun to play with. I just want to wear it as a bracelet. Don't fit. Would be good for a Barbie, right? So that's the loops, the, not the loops, the hoops, hoops with a hitch, the hoops. So here I put it in the back that I did this one. Oh, we did a nice one with the sunflower with that. And here is one from the swap. No, here we go. I thought that was froze for a bit, my goodness. So that it's all the like the blinks, the element, and so on. Now you get more here. Now uh, more tools. Now the ribbon. This is the new in color. I just read the bumblebee. It's very soft. Also, it's not as soft as the the suede one, but it's very friendly to make a bow. My when I like or dislike a ribbon, me I judge it as out. It's friendly to make a bow, and you can see this was very friendly to make a bow, and it lay very flat. So it would be very friendly to mail it, very much so. Ollie, you can start looking to pick another winner because we're almost done. Don't, don't announce it yet, but just look at it. I'm going to tell you in a second. Uh, here we go. So now you get all the ribbons, and again, to know if it's new or not, we got some combo in it. It said the end, so then you know that it's new or not. Oh, how excited I am here. The queen of fast fuse is very happy to report that we got something similar, but they say, it's no more check to it if you had problem. I didn't try it. I order it when it arrived. Let me tell you, I'm going to share with you. So you get like a strong glue and a stronger glue. So you get two of them and each of them fit in one or the other container. We got what it's called the cling adhesive. It's sheet with the cling. So all the one that wanted to transfer or 
do the conversion from the wood or the clear uh, stamp that it's clear mount, we're going to have the cling. You can put in the bags to save your stamp. We got that. We got foam adhesive sheets, not just strip, but that's like dimensional on a full sheet that you can die cut with it. So we got a new, 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 new uh, adhesive. And also we got the number one, it's those adhesive sheets like I told you to use tonight. So new glue and some people say these rock. I cannot tell you yet because I didn't try it, but you know me, I'm going to try it because I love my fast few. So I'm anxious. They say it's even better than that. So I'm anxious to try it. And they say it's very friendly because it's all in like little section. It's no more check and so on. So I'm going to keep you happy about that. And you get the clink sheet there. So many people ask for that. So we got it. Now you got... Um, Talking about bundles, this is not a bundle, though, if you join my team and you can choose that. The bundle, if you join, it has to be a stamp set. But this year, you can get the bundles. You could get it in your 125, absolutely. If you buy all the size of the block, if you get the bundle there, you get it at 10%. You can buy all individual block, but you can buy it also at 10%. So all kind of accessory and so on. Now uh, the stamp apparatus. Now we start with the punch. So you get the punch page, punch, punch. What you see, it's what you get. It is the true size. It's no guessing. Is it this big, that big? What you see on the page, it's the true size, okay? Now page 168 and 169. That is punch at 10% with the bundle. So if you join that sweet deal, it's dark outside and I don't like when my blinds are open. If you, um, if you uh, join and you can pick one of those bundles, but any of those bundles come with a stamp set here, you get it at 10%. If you wonder at the stamp set, it tells you what page is the stamp set so you can see them. So that's the eight punch offer with a bundle with a stamp set. Now, if you crank it up, they talk about the machine. I explain it. When I get the details, I will let you know when it will be available. Now, all this page, pretty much it's all except take your pick there. You get an adhesive sheet also there. But that all what go with the machine, it's not available yet till the machine it's available. Starting on page 173 to 179, these are all bundled with dye that you could choose. If you choose to join my team and get a free bundle, that would be one. And see 47, 54, so on. See the little mini there? That means that would fit in the mini machine. This one don't have the mini. That means it's at least one die in this set that don't fit in the mini. It doesn't mean that all die don't fit in the mini, but at least one of the die don't fit in the mini. And you go on like that. Here, it fit in the mini. That means the sunflower uh, bundle die all fit in the mini. And you keep on. So anytime you see that mini sign, that means it fit in your mini. The mini, it's three and a quarter or three and three eight by whatever. So it tell you, so it's no guessing. Not only that you got it in the catalog, but all on, let me share with you, on the label that I share with you, on the die punch, if you get the S rack with the M, the minute you grab your thing, you don't even have to look in the catalog, it's tell you if you get an M that fit in the mini. Like I said, we spend a lot of hours making those a full uh, label and if you want to show your appreciation if you place an order that's the way that it show if you've been shopping with me just grab it and just say thank you I know you're going to shop again but if you never shop with me and you want to show your appreciation that's it's by placing an order 
I spent a lot of hours creating that. So, you like I said, even on the label, this one is not, even on the label, you're going to see the M. That's what the M stand for. It fit in the mini machine. And keep on with the bundle, all the way to page 79. We get 26 bundle, or, yeah, 26 bundle with dies. That's bundle on steroids. And then you get your regular one. I mean, not with, it's still going to mention below, coordinate with by the doll. Coordinate with gear of garage. So bundle usually just carry in uh, as the 10%. It's offered one year, and after that, they offer different one. Doesn't mean that it's retiring. It's the 10% bundle it's retired. Like gear up garage, it's a carryover. The stamp set's still available. The buy the dog, it's a carryover. So the bundle, it's not offered at the 10%, but it tell you it coordinate with such and such. I should assure you with the punch also that um, let me if it coordinate no the punch don't say coordinate with something well I got you cover don't need the catalog to tell you because I got you cover boom Hewlett pump pump Hewlett builder it coordinate with timeless Hewlett so you see all the label that uh, it's created for you all it. It's a very, very well organized thing. And not only to get you organized, but make it easy to find what coordinate with such and such and such. And the folder. Okay, I got a few more folder new. So this one, it's a bundle of two. That's the one that was with the greenery on page 184. That's going to fit in the mini. Again, it's a mini. That's why they're tiny. That's the magenta. Here is the embossing folder. And with this one, that's the cider, cinnamon cider. So I decided, I had five new uh, the, uh, folder. So I decided to, I think we see a lot better when it's on paper. So I did it in the in color. And the Hornet Floral, it's new in this catalog, but it was released last month or the month before. But it's still new in this catalog. It's just got a bundle that got released earlier. And here is, it's so pretty, those flowers. So here are your five. It's more than five, but that's how many I could pre-order before the live, you know. So this and this. I'm going to put those two together. And this. And this. So that is your new in colors with the five folder that I had. How about that? Okay, Ollie, send me the next winner, please. So again, in those folder, you're gonna see the N when they are new. And you're gonna have the little emblem of mini when it fit in the mini embossing machine. And over here, that's where I put the fat X. It's not just for O's. It's any order of 150 and above, you get uh, rewards. So, and when it's 150 and above, you do not enter my hostess code. You're still going to get my promotion, my uh, download, my customer appreciation download. But <clears throat> and you're going to get like at 150, you're going to get 10%. So that would mean $15 of any product or you can uh, get the, those stamp set. These stamp set and the stamping reward, the only way you can get it, you cannot buy them outright. You can only get it with your rewards. So the rewards, in short, it's you can get anything that you can get ink for it, for the amount that you earn, you can get paper, you can get stamp set, you can get die, punch, so on. If you go at the 250, 10%, it's $25. And right now, Stepping up, get the promotion, you get an extra $25. So that means with an order of $250, you're going to get $50 of free product of your choice. Now, you get the index in the back. You get about the joining my team. Right now, don't forget, you get an extra bundle. And you get the accessory index too. 
Don't forget, on my blog, you get also the recipe for tonight. If you go on my blog, right at the top, and you're going to click under, um, so you get, like, if you're on the phone, you're going to have to click on little lines or on the tablet, but it's called Chart Stamping 101 and then Print Out. So if you go there, you can get like the wish list. You can get all those labels that I talk about. You can get your recipe and everything. So, woo! That was an, oh, here we go. Let me, um, one second here. I know I'm dark one minute. Yes, it's dark outside, my friend. Boogeyman gonna come. Here we go. Um, I hope that you enjoy the walkthrough. Like I said, almost two hours, an hour and uh, 45 minutes, right? Um, I call it my walkthrough on steroids, but I wanted to share product in action. I wanted to give you how to find stuff in the catalog. So. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know some of you are going to say it was long. You can stop at any time, really, and come back because it's recorded. So I hope you enjoy it as much that I spend time putting that together. And the next winner, it is Laura Leonard. So uh, if you go at FrenchyStamps.com, you get right there at the top. Contact me right there. Just go there. Say I was a lucky winner. So Bling Bling and Laura Leonard, you are the winner of the bone folder. So I hope that you enjoy tonight. I really enjoy sharing with you. Tomorrow night, I will be live again on YouTube, uh, Facebook. Don't create on the fly what I'm going to do. I have no clue because it's now 10 minutes before going live. So thank you, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your support. Um, the link to go shopping on my blog, it's in the description here, or it's on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. And I'm open 24 hours a day. You can shop 24 hours a day. Anyone in the U.S. can shop 24 hours a day. Thank you, Holly. Big hug to you, big kiss to you, and to all of um, you that joined me. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Bye-bye for now, my friends.